Welcome back to Fun Time! Today, I will be showing you a very, very easy multiplication trick. You know, which is very useful for your math exam. Yeah, yeah, very much useful. So, these are the most easiest ways to multi, you know, multiply according to me. You know, there may be different ways, but this is the most known for me. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's see how to do it. So, let's start. So, we just draw the heading here. So, now, uh, let's take an example. We're going to start with a simple one first, you know, because, you know, I just like the simple ones. Because those are better to start off with. So I know this is a very simple one, so we'll take it. We're going to do 8 multiplied by 7. We're not doing something like this, but you know, the technical way how we do it is, you know, you probably have done this at school. You know, you know at least I've done it once or twice <laughs> and all the time. So, you know, for 8, plus eight multiplied by 7, it's way easier and you can just do it. It's 65, of course. But we're going to do it in a way easier way. You know, step without a A was there A, like that, A two so blah, 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 blah. Nothing like that. We're going to do something very interesting. The first step what you're going to do is draw like a barrier line. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. And now, you're right. So, you kind of you know, see the nearest number... Uh, which for me is, you know, 10. It's the rarest number. 7 also is 10. So, actually don't write it. Blah. So, what you do is just subtract this number by 10 and write the result over here. You don't need to write the 10s and stuff. It's just, you know, I made it so... Again, it's way easier to understand. 8 minus 10 is, of course, 2. 7 minus 10 is 3. So now what you do is you just... Okay. So what you do is simple. You just take this number and multiply it with the down number 2. Multiplied by 3, which is simple. 6. Now what you do... Take this number on the top and multiply the number. I mean, subtract the number with this number. You know, 8 minus 3 is 5. And the answer will be 56. Yeah, this is very simple of calculation. So, you could know. It's very simple, but we're going to do way complicated subs next. So, you know, before that, we'll just do another example. It's kind of, you know, easier than this. Another one, I would say, is 7. Maybe that's not needed, right? So, we'll go with kind of like a bigger number. And I'm going to choose 93. Oh, it is a very scary, right? 93 multiplied by 97. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest number I've heard. <laughs> Not really. But I'll tell you. And now you just write the numbers, you know, like we did over here. 90. 93. Multiplied by 97, draw a barrier line. In this case, over here, you see the nearest number. So, what's the nearest number of 93? As you guessed, surely it's 100. So, we'll subtract 100 from this number, which makes... Do, 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 and, you know, here it's the same. It's 97. So, it's simple as pi. It's simple just minus them. 
so it makes three. And now what you do is very simple. You just you know, multiply these two numbers. What does it make? 21, of course. And now you just, you know, kind of take this number over here and plus it up. <laughs> oh, I mean minus. Did you think, did I think that you get fooled? Totally not. Yeah, you did not get fooled. I thought it's going to be the best prank ever. <laughs> but whatever. And you just subtract 90 from 3. I mean, 3 from 93. And what it gets is 90. So right over here, what you need to get is very simple. You just want to take a little concern. So with the number over here, it's like, you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know how to say, but just make sure some numbers may be different from the others. So we'll go to the next one. We'll just write the answer, of course. How can we not write the answer? Just get the question and write the answer. If you think teachers only there's a process, where's your answer? Hmm. So we better write it or we don't want scoldings from a teacher right there. So we'll go with our next example. So uh, we'll write it over here. You know, it's gonna be a little bit not that tidy. <laughs> so uh, maybe nine. I'm gonna go with the same range, ninety-four maybe, and then multiplied by. Nice. Yup. This is what a number I'm gonna do for sure. We'll never write the equation. <laughs> is that how you say that? Totally. I have no idea. Draw a barrier line. Draw the answer space. <laughs> and now, nearest number hundred again. Subtract it. Which makes, gives you six. You six, six, six. And then over here is four because, you know, subtraction. And now you multiply these. And you just get, you know, the number you're going to get. 24. Because, you know, six multiplied by four or four. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now, take this number. Same process over here. Subtract. I'm not. I know that you're never gonna get pranked by me ever again in mathematics. And simple. This is the most simplest question ever. Hey. <laughs> well, just now kind of subtract that, and the answer will be ninety. And voila, we found that answer. We'll just write the answer. Yes. And the number over here, I there. Now, I'll go with another one, which is way easier and a little complicated. <laughs> okay, so my number is going to be uh, maybe 92 multiplied by 96, maybe? And it's going to be a little, quite small number than this one. <laughs> Now we'll write the whole process. <laughs> I don't know really. I don't know how to explain that. I would say projector. Projectile. That's gonna be very complicated to say. <laughs> Just kidding. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's gonna be the worst joke ever. Draw the battery line. And let's start subtracting. Of course it again here was a hundred. <laughs> so minus. And then over here, four, beep. So now, we're gonna multiply these two numbers and make 32, of course. And then we take this number here and subtract, which makes 88. And voila, we found the answer. We'll write the answer, of course. Eight. Three and two, 
and of course you can find this with any numbers it's the easiest process right so so yeah this is very much fun to do also and this is the most easiest way to multiply the teacher said so like literally you have to read the whole table and what is this table i don't know or you just need to write a whole lengthy more more lengthier than the essay to complete this type of calculation but look we wrote it shorter than a and b c d those four letters are more longer than this calculation right a b c d okay whatever i'm very bad at making jokes yeah you're right what's that okay whatever so yeah guys hope you like this video make sure you like and subscribe to fun time bye guys see you in the next video with more